Welcome back to another video on our criminal databases. We're going to do a form that does add a suspect and another form that searches for suspects in our database. Let's start with the search suspect first and then we'll add some suspects later. So in our previous example we did searches where we would look for all of the characteristics of our person. So what we need to do next is create a search that will find one characteristic, at least, of every different column. So I'm going to switch all of these to like percent percent, and then put in a value like pep, male, red, blue, average, thin, loops, and yes. And so that will bring up our last criminal that we found called pepperoni. And here he is. Now, what I'm interested in is the code behind this search. So let's copy the entire select statement here and do a right click and copy. So we're going into Eclipse now and I'm going to start a new project here and let's call this thing Criminal Suspects. We're going to type in some code here and uh, we're going to create a new PHP file or a new file and let's call this thing Search Suspects .php. And before I lose that code that I copied earlier I'm going to paste it now and put on Word Wrap. So we're going to need that later. Okay, so search suspects is going to run a search on our database and find all of those people. First of all, we need a form. So be able to create a data entry form. We're going to create a file. And let's call this, uh, let's call this thing form.html. This thing is going to be an HTML page. It's going to have a head and a body. Okay, so far so good. We're going to have a form. And the action, I think I can already tell you, is going to be this file called search suspects PHP. So I'm going to create an input form for every one of the characteristics. So I'm going to have name, sex, hair, eyes, height, build, fingerprint style, glasses, and a submit button. So I'm also going to want to have a line break at the end. And then to avoid a lot of typing, I'm going to select this copy and paste. I'm going to need about nine of these. That might be a little bit too much, but let's put the other ones in. So we've got sex and the name of this form is sex and let's go with hair and the input name here is hair these are all text file input types Last thing I need on this screen is a button. So let's do a type equals submit. And this is a search operation. So I'm going to put in search now. So I'm going to type in localhost, push the refresh to get my new projects. There's criminal suspects. And you can see that I have the thing called form showing up here. So the form seems to work. If I click search now, it will bring me to the next page, which is search suspects PHP. And you can see that it's sending all of these things in the get value in the URL. However, it's not doing anything. So let's go into um, the, the search suspects PHP and let's add some uh, code to make this work. So let's put in our PHP and we're going to uh, put in a, let's print a, do a print R to make sure that we're getting our get variable. And just to test it out, save it and let's uh, push the search now button. So you can see in the first part here, we have a bunch of values coming from our form. And so that's the important part that we're going to be working with. So I'm going to assign variables like criminal name. And let's get that from the name column.
Okay, so I've done the process of assigning a variable name to everything from get. Now let's echo those out and see if they actually are the uh, ones that we're expecting. Okay, so this is the first example. I'm going to echo the name is, and I'm going to follow the same process for all the rest of the variables. So I'm going to copy and paste a few times, and let's echo the others. Okay, so I've got the echo statements for each one of these. Let's see if there's any errors. So let's put in some stuff here. Let's let's search for uh, let's search for a few things. Like let's go look for George. He's a male. His hair is brown. His eyes are blue. His height is tall. His build is fat. His fingerprints is uh, I don't know. Was it loops again? And glasses. He has yes. So let's do a search. And it looks to me like we got George, male, brown, blue, tall, fat, loops, and yes. So the, uh, the get variable prints up here, and then I have echoed out each one of these statements in the next line. So this select statement is still kind of mucking things up, but we're going to fix him next. So I'm going to go back into our form demo and steal some code. That's going to process form. Now in the previous video, we did this process where we did a connection and then a connection query. So let's copy all of that. So we don't have to redo all that again. Let's go back to search for suspects. I'm going to paste that in there. A few things we're going to change. Instead of database name form demo, I think the database was called something else. Our database was called criminal cases. So we'll use that as our new database. Criminal cases, spelled exactly the same. Got those four variables. The connection says it's connected. Okay, so our SQL statement is different. We're going to delete that. And we're not going to do a connection of adding data, but we will have something else. So I'm going to leave some space there. Okay, so that copies some code and saves us some typing. Now our SQL statement. That's coming from down here. Let's uh, take our SQL statement that we used earlier, cut that, and paste it into here. So select from long list of suspects where name like pep. So instead of pep, guess what we're going to use? We're going to use criminal name. So I'm going to copy these guys from up above and put them into my SQL statement. So criminal sex goes like male. And criminal hair goes like red. Criminal eyes will take blue. Criminal height goes in for, where is he, average. So build like thin, let's take him, criminal build. And fingerprint is the variable, and loops, we'll take over loops. Let's see what else do we have. And lastly we got glasses of yes, so criminal glasses. Let's copy that and paste it over top. So this statement that we're going to be querying is not a insert statement, it's a select statement. So we're just going to find data. So this function called MySQL Query returns an array of values. And if we capture that in a something called result and put an equal sign, then we can use it in our, um, in our code. So the next process is to loop through the, the rows that come from our database. So we're going to need a while loop, and we're going to assign a variable called row. Now, row comes from a, another query statement, MySQL i, and we're looking for something called fetch. There's different ways to fetch data, and we're looking for the one called fetch association. And so it is going to uh, do an associative array where it's going to have like the name and George and i color and blue as an association. So each one of those will bring us a row. So we're going to use echo statements to show what's going on here. So we're going to first of all say the person name is, and I'm going to print out row name. So that is coming from the uh, table in the database. And I can copy and paste this a bunch of times 
and we can get all of the data from each column. So person name is that, his sex is, and let's just put in these titles. Now I'm going to have to go look in the database to make sure I'm getting these right. So we got name, sex, hair, eyes, height, build, finger, underscore, print. That's going to be different than glasses. It will matter that I'm using capital letters, so I would have to go and type in capital name. Okay, what was the next one? Hair. So the person hair. Capital H-A-I-R. The next one is eyes. The next one is height. The next column is build. The last two are fingerprint and glasses. So let's see, person's fingerprint. Looks like I need one more row. Now let's go with glasses. Okay, so at the uh, top of the page, I'm going to now put a comment on all of these lines here. So I'm going to press the command and forward slash key, and that'll put a comment section on every one of those. Now here at the bottom, when I'm doing my search results, uh, let's see, I want to put in a divider here. Let's put in a bunch of equal signs perhaps. And then the break character. One more thing is I want to know how many rows are affected in this search. So there's a nice uh, command that's called number of rows affected. Let's see, I found, and then I'm going to put in M my SQL affected rows is what I'm looking for. Yeah, affected rows, and the link is called connection. And then I'm going to also say I found it's going to have a number, uh, and then word, the word suspects. And let's put in a break. So it'll tell me how many people I found. So let's go back to our form. I'm going to search for something like um, all the people with um, blue eyes. Where's eyes? Blue. Let's put in blue and do a search, and it shows me what I'm looking for. The only characteristic that is being used is blue. It says I'm connected, and I found 80 suspects. So you should see that every person on here has blue as their characteristic. Let's add another. So let's go with brown hair, brown and blue eyes, and now we are down to 16 suspects. Looks like we're getting better at this. Let's back up, and glasses. Let's look for anyone that has glasses. Sun, seven suspects, so it is getting more specific as we go. Let's go back to where it says connected successfully. Let's put in a line break, refresh the page. There, that looks better. I found seven suspects, and then all the people. So that's the uh, search results. Now we're gonna add, in the next video, the ability to add new criminals.